Hello, my name is Niai Kwe Parks. I am a poet from Ghana and I've spent a lot of time in the garden during these interesting times of the world and I'll be reading a poem called Caress which um, is inspired by time in the garden and the way you can think about everything from one place. Caress. One. If I speak often of gardening and days slow rise behind the creep of morning sun, it's because somewhere along my thigh lies the memory of a tomato plant's jagged leaf nibbling at my skin at dawn. Your hand steady at my shoulder, your voice gentle in my ear, pointing out tiny buds that will turn to flower, then fruit. I hold the faded watering can, its silver sharp against my grip, dark as yours, as we wade between beds of onion and kale, lettuce, both green and red, aubergines that stand high as my chest. And all the while, time unfurls. Birds bicker in the guava tree behind us, doors crack open, the light spreads, its luster caressing your tight curls as you pull a radish clean out of the soil. Shake it and bite through its red skin to the crunch of its white flesh. Passing one half to me. We speak of nothing or come for of origins. But I know you planted all these seeds and taught me the tender and the harsh, the art of nurturing them. And this is all I needed to know of love, ever. The morning before sun, the beauty of bud, flower and fruit, father's voice with birdsong, the tart white secrets in a radish's heart. Two. Between his first word and his first love, the boy goes to Grecian lengths to undermine his mother. His chores undone, he creeps beyond the horizon of her view, past milk bush and fallen rotten petals from Bougainvillea, into the haze of dust raised by a fury of youths playing football, waits his turn while idle tongues run loose with tips on how to love a woman, how to dribble from one foot to the other, scoop the ball up with a touch light as a feather and strike. All this before he is first called to play. He drops a word he retains from his escapades on bare fields by grass choked open drains in patches of fruit and flower flecked green of the kind cities hide like armpit hair in the air when his mother calls and the hand she means to place on his unkempt head naturally bears no tenderness he scrambles to shelter by the mongrel that will soon be struck by lightning the one whose tongue she despises waits for her rage to cool thus begins the tutelage of a man salvage from masculinity. And now he remembers the strength of her shoulders, her firm repose when, because of her short cropped hair, men dared call her small girl, whistle across the road. Caress of her hand on his neck when she reproved the teacher for caning him for his forthrightness, her anklet of colored glass beads that never broke. Three, it is easy to be misled when your head lies in the lap of a lover who promises all the things you want your life to be filled with, without so much as a skipped heartbeat. You will learn later that a cricket's vow is not the same as an elephant's, that soft caresses at the pressure point where the ear's flesh meets the skin behind your high cheekbones can shapeshift into something deadly on a whim. But for now, how sweet it is to be loved. You believe it all. You will live in the sun like your grandfather did. Your children will know the thud of avocados and mangoes falling unbidden from trees at dawn. They will speak with your tongue. They will know both your songs. It is easy to forget in those treacle sweet moments the inflection in your name that signals you have ancestors still old for their labor, their hard labor in the split rock and damp of the Americas. How you can't be beholden to the mediocre 
since your very intestines are echo chambers of dreams swallowed under an umbrella of whips. In the cavern of a kiss, how easily things slide to the back of the mind. Gone. Gone your father's lessons on how to fondle fruit, to tease the tender skin with fingers, to fathom the ephemeral line between ripe and rotten. So you are lost, tumbling in a vortex of broken promises, guilt trips and misused savings. This is what becomes of your heart just before it breaks, and you begin to claw back yourself. Your blood is hybrid, your tongue is mongrel, you carry songs of refuge. Refugee mysteries in the loom of maroon shanties that shift language. Your father has been taken, his own father gone, father upon father across borders echo. And the sea waves back, your skin is weather beaten, and it absorbs sun, hatred, fire, and shea butter. It doesn't crack. Summertime and you're still living. Pick up your pieces by the only light that still glows. The fading flower of your mother's smile.